Hello mountains. Yes, I know you're calling. And I must go. Okay, bye. Let's go. Alright folks, it's just not happening this weekend. We're on the motorway heading up the M9. Kevin's engine cooling light came on. Then it went red and then we pulled over in the services. Bubbling up like a bubbly thing. So <laughs> just waiting on the breakdown recovery now. We're getting towed. Name mountains for us, mate. You know. <laughs> Alrighty folks, how's it going? We are back out again after the car broke down two weeks ago. So I'm out with Kev. We've also picked up a, a German hitchhiker that we can't shake off. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the plan today is um, we're going to do a couple of hills. There's um, a Corbett and a Munro. The Munro is probably a bit better known. It's called Garvin or Gilvain, depending on which map you're looking at. And um, we're hopefully going to get a summit camp. It is a little bit windy though, so we'll see how it goes. But anyways, I'm going to push up this track and I'll catch you further on. What's your boss? Kev, what's the time? Long over two, wrap a clock. <laughs> this is literally the first macro wrap of 2022. Long overdue, Kev. Long overdue. When was the last one? It must have been um, November. November. And we've got striping in the action as well. Aye. We've got the, the German hitchhiker with us. <laughs> <laughs> Stripey is about to sample his first ever macro wrap. <laughs> Drum roll. Drum. Oh, he's got the skills. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah. All about your sausage tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> mm. Good. It's hard to tell. I'm not by the feeling yet. All right. But so far, what I could taste was good. Hold on. Watch the tomato sauce as they run down. Super boss. Super. Right. This is us just heading uphill now. It looks pretty steep. Two kilometers to the summit as a crow flies though. So shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, so this big sprawling mass here. There's Drum Fada, it's a Graham. It's got a huge long bridge. That'd be absolutely littered with camping spots. And then just behind, you should be able to see Ben Nevis. Ah, false summits. That's the second one. Hopefully, that one there, just in front of me, is the true summit. Whew, that was steep. Yes, fantastic. The views are super boss. The main attraction has to be over towards Ben Nevis there. But behind me, you can see deep into the um, Glen Desiree and it's fantastic. More mountains than I can shake a stick at. So we're all getting pitched up at the moment. I'm pretty much sorted already. We're sort of tucked in into the hillside. 
And honestly, just step out three metres to where I am, and it's back being windy again. So, this is literally the only sheltered spot we could find. So if you watched my tarp failure video for last weekend, I was moaning about the price of these bad boys. They've gone up by like £1.90 odds, depending on which uh, brand you get. But anyway, I was speaking to Hannah from the Fell store and I was having her a moan with her about it. And obviously she was saying things like Brexit and the fuel costs and all that sort of stuff have hiked the prices up. But she's agreed to give me a discount code and asked if I could share that with the viewers and she says yes. So. If you want a 15% discount, you can use www15 and the coupon code and that will get you 15% off. There's nothing in it for me, it's just to help out Hannah get her business noticed. It's a small business, she's been up and running, I don't know, a year or two now. Check her out, I'll put a link in the description below. What are you having mate? I'm having some pasta and Stripey gave me half of his German sausage. Nice. And some anchovies. Is that a euphemism? Yeah. It's, uh, it's just me being me. 17. Five degrees. Wind chill minus 0 0.4. So earlier on, Stripey was asking me how fast I could get this with my own breath and see if we could con the viewers and say it's that windy outside. So, let's have a go. <gasps> and I've just <laughs> gave this camera a soft focus with my breath. <laughs> right, so 38.8 .8 miles per hour is the record to beat. Have one more go. <gasps> Got a good feeling about this one. 40! Get in! <laughs> How does it sound? Good morning campers. I actually nodded off last night without speaking to the camera, so uh, here I am in the morning at half five. And I've just heard Stripey say he's going to get up for the sunrise, but I don't think I'm going to bother because I'm nice and cosy in my quilt. We'll need to get up soon because we've got Gilvain to do next. Um, so uh, yeah, I shall bring you back shortly. Your, a wee picture beside your tent. Nice. Oh, that Skylark was out at half four in the morning, tweeting away, early morning alarm clock. It's really chilly, but other than that, it's a really nice morning. Whew. Frost there on Kevin's tent. Okay, I think we've sussed out a route. Instead of going back down and picking up Gilvain for the sort of usual trade route, we're going to go round the back and pick up its west ridge. And it's just something a bit different and it saves us having to go up and over the, the Murno top twice. Right, that's us reached the glen. Lose some layers. Grab a bite to eat and then boom, we're going to head up this Munro. Thankfully, the cloud is lifting as well, so by the time we get up there, it should be a blue sky day. Right, 
Right, so we're just about to head off, but basically all we're going to do is handrail this river all the way up into the quarry. It picks up the ridge, and then it's just a short 300 metre ascent walk to the summit, which is in the clouds somewhere here. You ready, Kev? Yes. You ready, Stripey? Yep. Let's go. Gil Vane was a bit of a bogey Munro for me. Took me three attempts, two in winter, and one of those times I was like a hundred metres away from the summit, and my friend, he hurt his ankle, and he says, don't worry, you just push on and nip up to the summit, I'll wait on you. But uh, it was really claggy, I could see a big, a big cornice, and I just got a little bit spooked, I just went, nah, it's, stay together, it's safer, so we headed back down. And then a couple of years later, Nicola and I did it on a beautiful summer's day. Third time. Oh. Right, and a wee update for you. We've now just picked up the ridge. It's just a short 600 metre stroll in distance and maybe about 200 metres of ascent. I'm hoping it clears though, but uh, I don't know, I can't see this cloud shifting. Super boss, that is cracking. Love that. Ben Nevis again, just before the cloud sweeps in again. Right, well that's us just left the summit, it was getting a bit on the cold side. We've just got this lovely ridge walk that takes us up to the next top. Yeah, this is a nice little ridge. Right, we've made it to the second top. It's a long descent back down to the car, so I'm going to wrap this up now. If you watched this far, thank you very much. I'll leave some videos here you might like to watch, otherwise we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!